Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're back for another Let's Play. And this time we're playing MVP Baseball 07 NCAA Baseball. And this game is timeless. It is the last iteration of an NCAA Baseball video game. And honestly, this game is fun. You can create a team, create a ball, park even. That feature is amazing. It's so funny. I mean, a game like this all these years ago, MLB The Show still doesn't have this in the game. They also have Create a Team. MLB The Show still doesn't have that, really. I mean, they have they introduced it this year in Franchise, which I'm excited about. Obviously, still I got to give it up to them, but still, 13 years later that this game came out now. And honestly, this game is timeless. So I did put the White Tails baseball program in this game and let's just play a little exhibition game versus ohio state this is not a finished product a few weeks ago i did put a community tab post out there so that i can get some of your baseball profiles and it was geared towards this game now i do have the team already picked out and everything i actually did create it on xbox but i'm playing on ps2 right now i gotta transfer that over xbox the last game on that is 06 and then PS2 is 07, so I did pick up a PS2, obviously. And now I am playing on this. And let's just see how this game holds up. So this is my first time playing this game, actually. So bear with me during the beginnings of this game. So here we are on the mound here on defense. And let's just see if we can get out of this game with a victory. We are playing on the default difficulty, which I believe is... I believe it's sophomore. I'm not really sure. But let's just see what we can do here as we do get a fly out here to third base. And that is caught by Vogel. And you can see this Ohio State team. They're pretty decent. I don't think uh, any of the Big Ten teams are powerhouses right away. So I decided to just pick a middle-of-the-road team here. Ohio State is decent at baseball, one of the best in the Big Ten in this game. And there is a strikeout there. So we do get out of the first inning. As let's see it, what we can do on offense as Maduro is on the mound for Ohio State. Like I said, this is kind of a generated team. These are not the players that I've picked for a series. But like I said, I do already have them picked out. And here is the lineup for us. And you can see we actually have some pretty good uh, attributes for our guys. And let's see if we can put some runs up versus Ohio State. So here's a shortstop, Villa Fuerte, Villa Fuerte, and he's going to hit one to right field, and that one is going to drop, and that's going to be a leadoff single here for the White Tails baseball program. I guess you can say it's the first ever hit in White Tails history. So here's a, another fly out to right field, and that one is going to be a can of corn. So that is going to be the first out of the inning. Up comes the next batter. That's some uh, high off speed and that is going to be a ground out how did he hit that into a grounder that was up in the zone and it's going to be a double play and this game doesn't look bad to be honest i mean this is a ps2 game and it actually doesn't look too bad obviously the graphics aren't up to par but the gameplay looks pretty good look at how smooth that is via fuerte throws the first on that diving stop but it's going to be a single there for the batter for ohio state and now they got a guy on first here with one out here in the second inning. Ground ball up the middle. There is a nice stop that time by our second baseman. He tries to step on second and goes to first, but everybody's safe all around. As that brings up Tanner Teagarden. What a name that is. Here with the guys on first and second. 0-2 count. He's going to hit a ground ball to second base, and we're going to try to turn two, and that one is going to be a double play. And we will get out of the second inning. That's a nice turn right there. And here we go back out on offense here in the bottom of the third inning. Let's see if we can get some hits, string some hits together. But the first batter comes up, and he is just going to fly out to right field once again. That right fielder is getting some work in this one. As that brings up a lefty here with one out here in the third, and that one might drop, but no. The right fielder once again is making every single play so far. So here comes Villa Fuerte up to the plate again with two outs and he's going to hit one hard up the middle there we go there's a nice hit with two outs let's see if we can keep this inning going and here is Rodgers up to the plate he looks like he can hit the ball pretty well and he hits one deep to center field but that is just going to be an easy pop fly as we are playing at Georgia Tech Stadium I just picked a random stadium and ended up being Georgia Tech's 
So in comes Jason Burnham here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Let's see if we can start the offense. And he gets a pitch to hit probably right over the middle. And that is going to be an easy fly ball to the second baseman as that brings up Vogel, the third baseman, with one out. And he's going to hit one down the right field line. And that one will make it all the way to the wall. He's going to round first and head to second. And he will slide in feet first. And that is going to be a double here. And that brings up the first baseman, Rob Helton. Let's see if he can drive our first run of the game in. He's going to hit one to right field. And that right fielder is getting all the work in this game. That is a nice catch and run on that one. And now here our next batter comes up, but there is a high cutter up in the zone. And it's going to be a swing and a miss. And they will get out of that inning. So let's go back to the mound here. And here's Ohio State back at the plate in Villa Fuerte getting some work at shortstop. I really love that last name. And T Garden comes up with two outs. He's going to hit one to left field, and that one is going to be easy. And we will get out of that as Ohio State only has two hits. We only have four hits through the first four innings. So now we're on to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here is our leadoff batter up to the plate, and he's going to hit one to left field. That one will drop in, and T Garden will come up throwing. And that brings up Bria here with a guy on first base. He hits one to left field, and that one will drop as well. So guys on first and second here in the fifth inning. As now we try to bunt this these two runners over, and that is going to be foul on that one. So this at-bat will stay uh, will continue, and we will, on an 0-2 count, hit one to left field again, and it's going to be another blooper, and the first run of the game will come across the plate, and we do take the one nothing lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. So still no outs here in this inning. Here's Fuerte at the plate again. He hits one to right field, and that one is going to be a base hit. Bases loaded here, no outs. As they go to the bullpen, Dean St. Clair, they're warming him up in the pen. And we still have no outs. Here is a pitch inside part of the plate. And we're going to take it to opposite field. Inside out that one. It's going to make it all the way to the wall. And that's going to score another two. Still no outs. Maduro gets the mound visit from the manager. And he will remain in the game as he continues the next at bat. Ground ball to second base. They try to turn two, but it's broken up at second. And another run comes in, and they actually don't turn two. And the shortstop could not handle that one. And now 4 nothing here in the bottom of the fifth as this Get inning does continue. Line. The next batter comes up and goes to opposite field. And he waits back on that off-speed pitch. And it's going to be 4 nothing here with guys on first and second with one out. As that brings up Helton once again. He's going to go to opposite field and another hit. This is just a hit parade here in the fifth inning. And wow, bases loaded here, one out. We have a big opportunity as the Buckeyes do go to the bullpen and bring in St. Clair. Let's see if he can get them out of this jam. So the next batter comes up. Here's a fork ball on the inside part of the plate. That brings up Jackson with two outs and two straight strikeouts out of the bullpen. And St. Clair gets them out of that inning. And now we move on to the later parts of this game as now let's hop into the bottom of the seventh inning here with one out. So here is St. Clair still on the mound. We're going to go deep to left field, and that one is going to bounce off the wall, and it's going to roll all the way over to center field. The center fielder will field that one off of the warning track, and he's going to throw this one all the way home. And look at this one. The ball gets all the way to the backstop, but take a look. Nobody's covering home, and we will score on that one. That is technically a triple and an error, and we will score the run. And now it is 5-0 here in this game, as now this seventh inning does continue as two batters come up. And two hits here with two outs. That one drops down the right field line, and now we got guys on second and third here. Two outs. Let's see if Jun's, uh, his son, Dame, I don't even know how to say the last name, he comes up to the plate here, and he will get a pitch to hit down the right field line, but it is just foul. And now 0-2 count. He's going to get a pitch to hit up in the zone, and that one will be a fly out. And now we move on to the eighth inning. Let's see if Ohio State can get anything at the plate. They start out the inning with a hit down the left field line, and that is going to be a leadoff single here as Snelling comes up to the plate. Let's see if we can get him out. Here is a line, line out this time, and that is caught by Fuerte at shortstop. 
And now they have one out. Ground ball to third. Let's see if we can turn two. But no, Vogel can't handle it. He throws the first and barely gets the runner at first. And at least we have two outs in the inning here. Let's see if we can get out of this jam here. And they do fly out to left field. And now we move on to the bottom of the eighth inning. Guys on first and second here. No outs in this inning. Let's see if Burnham can come through in the clutch. He's got 91 contact, 95 power, and 69 speed on the base pass. Let's just see if he can come through. So now he fouls that one off, and the count will remain 0-2. As I do have all strikes on, so let's see if we can get a hit here. And that one will be a liner to left field, and that one will get all the way to the wall. And Burnham does show some clutch ability. And two runners will come across. And it is now 7-0 here in the eighth inning. And that's going to do it here as we do get another run across the board. And we try a hit and run with the next batter coming up. And take a look. A ground ball to shortstop. We're going to try to score from second. And we do slide the wrong way. But take a look. I don't know. Our hand might have been in there. That may have been a blown call by the home plate umpire. And one thing I love about this game is they do have a setting for blown calls. Oh, I don't know. His hand may have been in there on that one. As we move on to the bottom of the ninth inning, we may have had a complete game in this one. And there is the first batter up. And here is Dinga up to the plate. Let's see if he can get anything going. Another ground ball up the middle. And Via Fuerte all over this game. Another out. Bringing it to two outs here in the inning. One last ground ball to Vogel, and that one will put this one away. And the White Tails do get the victory here. And man, I was impressed. This is that was fun, a lot of fun. And honestly, this is maybe a series that I will do in the future. We had 18 hits to their three. Obviously, it was on the default difficulty, and we kind of had another team. We didn't. We didn't have a custom team here. We had some generated rosters, but it was fun. I liked what I saw. Let me know what you guys think of this game, and if you guys want me to do a series in the future. Like I said, I I believe I have it in my future plans, and obviously it's not anywhere near now, but I like this game a lot, and I think I can have a lot of fun with it. So let me know what you guys think of this game. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. I'm going to be coming with more PS2 gameplays as well. But like I said, this one's probably going to stick around a little bit with the future series. But let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention It don't matter though, yeah And it don't even matter though, nope